Hello Leo and welcome to your August 2019 monthly reading. This is for Leo. I am happy to let you all know you can now find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, all at Secret Tarot 1111. Be careful, there are some imposters out there. But I will leave those links down below in the description box, okay? Leo, this is for you. What is going on with Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo for August 2019. If this resonates with you, Leo, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Leo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Leo. This is for Leo for August 2019. What is going on? What is going on for Leo? What is going on for Leo? Okay. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> you are all over this reading. This reading is most definitely yours. Okay. Most definitely yours. So, I'm seeing a reunion um, being contemplated here. I don't think you're going to go for it, though. You're very defensive um, in regards to this person, okay? And um, they really hurt you. But in the meantime, my God, have you ever evolved? Have you ever evolved? You are on your way, Leo. This is amazing. Knowing your worth, gaining your strength. This is all about your happiness right here. I don't think you really want to revisit the past here. Why? Because of this. And because of this. Right? So, um, Ten of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Somebody really did a number on you. And it has taken you some time to get to the place where you're at. You're standing very strong here. You are all over this reading. All over. All over it. Okay. But this took you a minute to get past this. It took you a minute to um, let this go. To pick yourself up and dust yourself off. But Leo, this is amazing. It's your season. You're all over this reading. Right? What's behind this? Yeah. Yeah. You're not accepting anything um, from the past right now, okay? Uh, I'm not seeing it. And I do believe that, um, that that's on the table. And I think you're deciding against it. Um, because this was too much. It was absolutely too much. Whatever this was that happened in the past... I don't think you want to revisit it. I don't think you want to repeat of, of past things here. You have grown too much. You have evolved too much. You are, let's say, awakened. Leo, this is your time to shine. This is your time to shine, Leo. I think I just found the title of this video. All right, so Four of Cups, eh, you ain't taking no offers from the past. You know what's there, and it's empty. They absolutely just devastated you. This is a situation, it just left you feeling empty. This is a situation you walked away from. How could so? I mean, if somebody, I can literally hear this. If somebody really wanted to be with you, how could they do this? Do you know what I'm saying? I can literally hear that. So we walked away from situations that no longer served us. We're not taking any apologies at this time. It was too painful and we don't want to do it again. 
All right, a lot of water energy here. Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, so there was an ending. It was very dramatic, and it has taken you time to, to move on, to gather your strength here. But my God, are you looking good. Um, so I want to say this before we get too deep into this, okay? I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person, it's all, it's real, truly all about you. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, right? Time is fluid. If their sign pops up, all the better. Um, what else? Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. But the way that I am seeing this, this is all about you transforming after some heavy shit, okay? After some serious heavy shit. Now, the heart of the situation, reunion. I feel very much third party situation was involved in this and it was a huge betrayal. Now that's for some of you. For others of you, this was just a devastating ending and there could be a reunion here on the table either way it goes. And this Three of Cups, right? Three of Cups, uh, you're not taking, you're not accepting any apologies. You're not set, accepting any past people coming back into your life right now. You are well on your way to your own happiness. You are well on your way to new beginnings. You are well on your way, Leo. So I'm seeing this. Three, I'm also seeing this, right? Three of Cups, you are out there. You are enjoying yourself. You are celebrating. Maybe you're dating. Maybe you're playing the field right now. And that's all well and good. You know, dipping your toes in the water, whatever. What is crossing that? I'm seeing this as a huge karmic lesson for you. And I'm seeing this, you know, if this person does try to come back into your life and you start thinking about revisiting that, do you know what I mean? Um, this is the universe's way of testing you to see if you're going to go for it, right? Because you have evolved so much. I don't think you're going to, I don't think you're going to go for it, Leo. I really don't. Um, I'm seeing possibly an apology trying to uh, show up here for you from a past person who betrayed you, who hurt you, okay? But uh, it possibly got you involved in a third-party situation. But I don't feel like that's the decision you're going to make because you may have to make a decision on this, you know. And I think right now you are finding your balance, all right? Justice card, this is Libra energy. And I think you are doing just fine. I think you are out there. I think um, you're enjoying yourself, okay? At the root of this reading, we have this King of Wands energy. Now, this could be your energy, right? You're definitely back on the throne here. Very powerful. Um, going after the things you want. Going after the things that you are passionate about. Male or female absolutely does not matter, but this is an, an, this is at the root of the reading. I feel like this is more your energy of just doing things that make you want to wake up in the morning, that make you passionate about life again, because like I said, you went through some devastating shit, and I'm sure you did the whole inner reflection, the, um, you know, the whole healing process, the clearing of the chakras, the the whole nine yards here, okay? But you got it together. You got it together, okay? Um, what's going to happen here? And this could be also this person coming towards you in a passionate way. So just keep that in mind because I do see somebody trying to get back in there offering up apologies. I do. I do. Be careful with that, all right? But I see you taking a seat back on your throne here, and it's a very dominant energy, male or female, and this is you getting your creative juices flowing, going after things that you're passionate about, um, the people you're passionate about, family, friends, lovers, whatever. You just feel in life again, okay? You are feeling the groove again, right? Same with this card here. In the past, 
you had to realize your worth, okay? Single lady card. So this whole dramatic ending left you single and it had you had to pick yourself up and dust yourself off. I'll say it again. And you did it very well, okay? Just waiting on the right person to come along. Nine of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In this healing process, you have realized your worth. That was a huge lesson, Leo. You got your confidence back. You got your swagger back. You're passionate about life again. Things are going really well. You're independent. You're fierce, all right? You're paying your bills. You're doing your thing, right? Male or female here. All right, so I feel like this person, all right, really hurt you and I feel like when they do come back in this this is going to make you revisit some of this um, pain and it's going to um, like I said I feel like the universe is going to test you it's it's kind of you might you may take a little bit of a step back here and you may remember everything that you have went through with this individual all right there was a lot of hurt here, and there was a lot of tears, and there was just a broken heart here, Leo. Okay, you were hurt. You were devastated. So when this person does try to come back in, I do feel that this um, may be revisited. Maybe, you know, you may hear them out and give them a shot and, and just start remembering these things. Maybe, you know. This is a big lesson. I don't think you're going to accept this person back into your heart. I really don't. I just think that the potential for the remembering and all that emotion to be bubbled up when they do try to come in and offer apologies or do try to reach out to you or, or whatever the case may be, I think that's why that's there, right? So just be aware of that. But... This is going to help you realize how far you've come. What is crowning this reading is you not allowing them back into your heart. You are not allowing them to do this to you again, okay? Because you remember. You specifically remember how much it hurt. You remember the tears that you cried. You remember the devastation that you felt, right? And now this person is blocked from your heart space. So this is showing this progression. And you're standing your ground here. You're not going to allow this. You're blocking this out. It's not allowed. Seven of uh, Wands here. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You're looking good here, Leo. We got the Empress here. And again, you have taken a seat back on your throne. Very caring, nurturing energy. And I feel like that is uh, towards yourself. This has been a slow process where it's you've taken the time out for yourself. And you've really um, nurtured your own energy here. And these new beginnings, this is all about you and your ascension and your development and your emotional growth and your spiritual growth and that kind of thing, okay? That's why this Empress is here. This is very abundant. This is a potential new beginning for you. And you've taken the time to really nurture this whole situation for yourself, okay? So these two cards here right this is all about knowing your worth knowing your value and understanding um that i mean basically basically you can do anything that you want here right you are the lion and let's see this is what's coming towards you this is you so this strength and this courage that you have is undeniable. It is unbeatable and it is unstoppable here, Leo. So you have most definitely, it's, I'm seeing it like this. Okay. So we started off here, started off with this, you know, working at it, being fierce, independent, you know, 
knowing your worth, knowing your value, it elevated, okay? It elevated, taking a seat back on your throne here, nurturing yourself, growing that energy, right? And now, look at this. You are in your power here, Leo. So this is all very, very good energy. Strong, courageous, not, not let, oh my God, if I could talk, not letting anything stop you, okay? In your hopes and fears. I, I honestly um, think you are afraid you're not strong enough to handle communication from this person if and when they do reach out right for some sort of reunion but you are and you're going to realize that when they do yeah it may stir up some old bad memories here but guess what you're in your power now for real um, this is your card all over the place and you are strong enough to handle this appropriately you are strong enough to not allow them back into your space because you have grown, you have nurtured, you have evolved, okay? You know your worth, you know your value. And this is a huge revelation for you, Leo, okay? You don't have to, let's say, put up with anything that is going to bring you down, going to bring your negativity level, I mean, to the floor, right? You're not going to deal with any anyone or anything that's going to bring drama, dramatics, um, hurt and pain to your table anymore. You're just, you're done. You're done with it, okay? So I honestly think that you're not... <sighs> You're afraid you're not going to be able to handle communication from this individual or, you know, being um, made to talk to them again because I do feel like they're going to reach out to you. Um, but I feel like you're going to handle it beautifully, okay? And I feel like this is going to be a no for them, okay, because they hurt you so very badly and you're just not dealing with it anymore. We have the sun card. So this is an awakening for you. This is what I'm seeing here. This is your card. This is all about your happiness. This is all about new beginnings for you. You are very aware of what this person is and what they can do. And you do not want that in your life. You want something bigger. You want something better. You're going after the things that you're passionate about. You're finally out of that slump. And... You do not want to deal with anything that made you go into that slump. Do you know what I'm saying? You have risen above. You are completely awake and you are completely aware. And this is, <laughs> this is all about your happiness here and your new beginnings. Okay. So let's clarify the sun card for Leo. For August 2019, let's clarify that sun card for Leo for August 2019. Yeah, you are manifesting new beginnings for yourself and you realize that now you have the power to do anything. That is the power of the magician. It's all at your fingertips. This is law of attraction. What you are looking for is balance. What you are looking for is reciprocity. What you are looking for is somebody that's going to put the work in. And you will put the work in. Equal exchanges of emotion. Equal exchanges of communication. Equalness. Okay, six of pinnacles. This is earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is what is going to bring you happiness. This is what you're wanting. A, a nice balance between two people. Something that doesn't have to be so hard. And certainly something that doesn't hurt and brings you down and, and brings tears to your eyes. That's a no. So you are manifesting new beginnings. You are... Um, you're most definitely awakened and enlightened and this ascension that you are experiencing this development is 
absolutely amazing. And now you realize you can do anything that you want here and you've got all the tools to make it happen. You are realizing that you are in charge of your own happiness. You're not putting it in anyone else's pocket anymore. This is your life and this is what you're realizing and you're doing what you want to do and you are looking for a, an individual that's going to provide reciprocity to you and you're not accepting anything less than that. Okay? So we have this King of Swords energy. So when and if this person comes to revisit, so to speak, try to apologize or try to have a reunion with you, this is going to be you right here because, yeah, see, I'm seeing an apology coming in. This is going to be you right here. Stone cold hardcore. You're thinking with your head now. Emotions are done. They killed, they, they killed the emotion when they stuck those ten swords in your back. Do you know what I'm saying? So you're going to go stone cold hardcore on this individual. And you're going to make it abundantly clear that you're not dealing with any negativity. Okay? Because now you're in your power. Now you know. Now, this is all up to you, and your happiness is all up to you. So, dang. Leo, what are you manifesting? It's balance, yes. Some happiness, yes. This is amazing. What a wonderful reading for Leo season. I love it. It was very powerful. All right, this is for Leo for August 2019. What is going on? A lot of major arcana here. So this is huge. These are some big revelations that you're going through. All right, Leo, August 2019. What is going on with Leo for August 2019? Ooh, <laughs> holy shit. You deserve love. You are lovable. Now you know what you deserve, Leo. And you're freeing yourself from all that negative energy. It's time to take control back of your life. What two perfect cards to pop out for you in this reading? How beautiful is that, Leo? Excellent. This is absolutely gorgeous reading. Talk about stepping into your power, knowing your worth, taking control back. Um, if this person does come around, you, you're, you're not going to be accepting this person. You have evolved. You are, a, you are enlightened. You are awake. Okay. And um, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can manifest and you can have the happiness that you want. You can have that person that you want. You can have whatever it is in your life that you want. That's what this is all about right here. All right. So excellent reading, Leo. All right. I love it so much. What a beautiful reading. Beautiful freaking reading here. All right, y'all. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Secretaro1111. That's down below in the description box. The weekly schedule is also down below in the description box. You can all find all of that information in my About section on my channel. And um, what else? Next week, I'll be working on the How Do They Feel About You readings for August 2019 so that is always fun and what else i think that's about it i think that's all the announcements that i've got leo excellent reading i hope you have enjoyed it i hope it resonates with some of you beautiful leo season reading right here right congratulations you have a beautiful week and take very good care of yourself and god bless